Alright, alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Office Hours. <laughs> uh, alright, so in this problem we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do an example problem in this video with a bar supported by a rod and a pin support and and we have a loading on it and we're gonna try to find a uh, a displacement of this rod and here's what the structure looks like one my schematic uh, let's see here where's my straight edge yes and I have this rigid beam Yes, yes, and it's pin supported like that. And then I have a link here and here. Just put this as my rod here. Yes, and this is also pin supported like that. And let's see, I got some labels. Uh, B, D, and C, and some lengths. Uh, here, oh, two and two. So four meters total. Wait, two, and this is, what is this, 1.5? So I have a three, four, five triangle. That's convenient, one point meters okay and and a loading like a distributed loading that goes all the way across here like this and that has an intensity of 300 newtons per meter and what I'd like to do is determine the deformation of point D all right so so there are a couple ways to do this, but the you know one of the what we want to do really if we didn't know the axial deformation equation, so this axial deformation equation is this, you know you might remember the sum of N L over E A, and delta is equal to um, zero to L N of X D X over E A X. So these are our axial deformation equations, uh, but so we need to find essentially the deformation of this rod BC and then see how far down point B goes and then use similar triangles to find how far point D goes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so, um, and so that's going to start, you know, if we didn't know this, we would calculate the stress, the strain, the deformation, and then... Um, and then use geometry for D. Uh, here, ABD is rigid. So ABD is a rigid beam. So at least we know that it doesn't have some sort of curvature to it, or we're neglecting that curvature in this case. And so the first thing we'll do is cut and draw a free body diagram. And so we'll just cut it here. We'll cut it here. Let's see, I have a, let's see here, I'll just draw a pin AY. AX, and then if I cut, let's see, oh, oh, I cut through the rod right here, like this. This would be NBC, I believe. NBC, and and really all the attention is in the rod. I can't, I can calculate AX and AY, but I actually don't need it in this problem. And so here too. Um, I'm gonna use equilibrium equations for NBC. And really, I just need one, and that would be sum of the moments about A. So if I sum moments about A equal to zero, boom, like this, I would get, um, here, just a quick reminder, this was a three, four, five, a three, four, five triangle. So I would have, um, let's see, I would have, uh, let's see, NBC, the vertical component would be four fifths, and the arm is times two meters, minus the force resultant of the distributed load, which is 300 newtons per meter, times four meters, which will give me the force resultant, and the arm, the resultant is right here. The 1200 newtons is right here, so the arm is two meters, 
and all this equals zero. And let's see, I can do some math very quickly and the two meters cancel out. Dude, I can like print this and give it to you too. Anyway, oh, it's all good. Sweet. It's in color. I'll print it in color. Oh, like 12 cents a copy. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then the fours even cancel out. Wow. And uh, let's see. Oh, the meters here cancel out. Yay. So, uh, shoot. NBC looks like it's going to be 1,500 newtons. No? No? Oh, snap. Is that, did I do that right? Yeah, I did it right. Yeah, sure <laughs> Who knows? You did it right. Who knows? We'll see. If I, if I make calculation errors. Is it three, is it three over five or four over five? Oh, snap. <laughs> I, I messed up. It's three over five. Thank you, thank you. This is why, this is why no one is perfect. And in the words, don't judge me, judge yourself. <laughs> 300 new times 4 meters. All right, all right. So that 4 doesn't cancel out. So then NBC in this case would be, let's see, 5 thirds 100. 100. Is it 2,000? 2,000? Yeah, yeah, 2,000. I think 2,000. Dude, you can come in if you want. Sorry. No, no, no. But I'm recording, so don't say your name. <laughs> I, no, we can talk. It's all good. It's office hours. It's, uh, you just need homework? Yes. I was oh, all right. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, no problem. Here, here, here. Let me, let me pause. <laughs> okay, and we're back. It's almost 12. Oh, snap. I got a meeting. Okay, so NBC is 2,000 Newtons. We're going to go faster right here. And, and then I could, you know what I could do to get the deformation of the rod BC? Uh, if if I have learned the axial deformation equation, this this is N L over E A right here. And so the deformation of B with respect to C Whoa. The deform I could go straight away. Deformation of B with respect to C is two thousand newtons times the length, which was uh, let's see, 1.525, 2.5 meters. The initial length was 2.5 meters. The initial length was 2.5 meters. And then I have the modulus of elasticity of aluminum, which we're saying is 69 gigapascals, which is 69 kilonewtons per millimeter squared. And then the area is 14 millimeters squared. Yes. And then, so I think, you know, in terms of units, so I don't make any units mistakes, I'll, I'll rewrite that 2,000 newtons as 2 kilonewtons. And this should give me an answer in meters if I plug and chug. So two, 5 divided by 69 divided by 14 is 5.17 or 18 times 10 to the minus 3 mil meters, which would be 5.18 millimeters. Yes, that would be delta. If, if we didn't know this, and then I would, I would apply it like, you know, I would calculate the stress, the stress, and that would be in BC. I would calculate the normal stress, and so that would be sigma BC is equal to NBC over the area of BC, which would be a two, how about kilonewtons divided by 14 millimeters squared, which would be two divided by 14. And that would give me 0 0.143 gigapascals or kilonewtons per millimeter squared. Yeah, okay. And then I would apply Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law, another way would be Hooke's Law. And you know, the reason this is working is because the way we derive this relationship right here was with normal stress and Hooke's Law, right? You know, and the definition of strain, but it's all good. And so here, by Hooke's law, which is sigma is equal to E times epsilon, I can get the strain in, is it BC or BD? It's BC, right? BC? Uh, yeah. BC is 
sigma BC over E, the modulus of elasticity of aluminum, which would be 0.143 gigapascals over 69 gigapascals. And that is divided by 69, 2.07 times 10 to the minus 3 strain, which is millimeter, we'll just call it millimeter per millimeter. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, point. yeah, that looks good. You're in business, you're in business. That's good, that's, psh, that's excellent. Okay, and then, and then by, defer, by and then by the definition of strain, one, four, strain definition, look at, we're, like, anyway, strain definition, by the definition of strain here, I would have, uh, let's see, epsilon BC is delta BC over the original length of BC. And so delta BC, the change in length of BC is 2.07 times 10 to the minus 3 times the original length, which was, what was the original, 2.5 meters or 2,500 millimeters. And that would tell me times 2,500 is 5.18 millimeters, just like before, the other way, yeah? Okay, so it matches, life is good. Okay, so I have the deformation of BC, okay? Now, oi, now I have, if you need to go, you can go, but it's all good. I know, because I explained that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, right? It's all good. And so now I look at the geometry of deformation to solve, to answer the question, the geometry of my structure. Structure. Free. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, should, I should do that. Every time I say the word structure, I should be like, structure. Free. <laughs> so here, it should be like, uh, boom, here's the initial geometry. Yes, here's the initial geometry. Oh, yes. So it was here, here, whoa, here, here, and here. And then I, then the, then the thing deformed. So I'll use a different color for that. How about I'll use green? The, the beam, rotates down after I load it. So it goes here like this. And uh, let's see, I will put in orange, the cable or the rod also goes straight down because my deformations are small. And this, a little bit off, but it's all good. This is this right here and the orange line is the final length of the um of the of rod bc so lf bc is the initial length plus delta bc which would be uh, 2500 plus 5.18 so it's 2505.18 millimeters that's the final length. The initial length was 2,500 millimeters. And then here, this length was 1,500 millimeters. And this deformation right here is really, we need this one. We wanna know how far down did it go like this. We want this distance right there. And that is delta of point B right here. And we would use similar triangles to find delta D, the displacement of D. So we have a couple choices. We could use the law of cosines for this black, blue, orange triangle, right? That's one way. Um, another way might be like if I look at this green, blue, orange, that's a right triangle, right? And so this distance here, this distance right here, I'll call like, if I call this like capital Y right there, you know, I could say that, oh, and this distance we know is, what, did, what was that distance? Two. Two meters or 2,000 millimeters. 2000 I wonder this might be not as accurate 
because you know, but it's all good it's all good and by by that def but you know small deformation so y squared plus 2000 millimeters squared equals this final length which is 2505.18 millimeters quantity squared and then I can solve for y whatever that is oh yeah, that is minus 2000 oh, and then square root okay I think I got y is 1508.62 millimeters right here so that means delta B is y minus 1500 which would be 8.62 millimeters yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay and then by similar triangles from this black blue blue by similar triangles sim triangles triangles I would get that delta B over two meters is equal to delta D over four meters and delta D would be two times delta B which would be 17.24 millimeters and that downwards and that is it. Yeah? Nice, yeah. All right. Structure